Bible says? We don't know the Hebrew. Now the burden of our truth on you to teach us. What's the real Hebrew? Get your chain game punk ass back in the jungle. Why, why don't you come make us? No, go back to the boy. Why don't you come make us? Take that shit in white That's town. what I'm talking about. Our people not about Don't save anymore. us, nigga. Save yourself. Our people, our people not about that. Man. We are here for you, man. Right. Give me seven twenty three. You said not just me. Nigga, y'all nigga police. You really don't want to be found Y'all nigga CI. I didn't see you to the police car and do that. Cause no. I didn't want to slam through to make your head roll back on the pavement. Right. Okay, see what if we did that. Let's go get him. Yeah, let's go get him. Some car. Your home. Me not the car. Come on out. What's his name? Hey, yeah. I'm shot. But I'm right to Let's go open up with Colossians 3 and 17 after that second Peter screen three, man. You keep asking us why don't we come ahead and give you lamb, right? I want to address why we don't give you no lamb. You don't need lamb. You need to keep the commandments of God, man. If we give you some lamb, you're still going to be a wicked nigga, man. That's not going to change you. Let's make that out, man. I'm a righteous negro on, in, 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 in keeping the commandments, man. Read. Look up Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. Read that, man. Read. Watch it, but he do in word or in Do all in it. Do what? Do all. Do who? Do all. Do all. Everything we said we're going to prove out of the, out of the shot of a time in the Holy Bible. Give me Psalm 8, chapter 12, verse 5. Oh yeah, get that 2 Peter screen 2. 2 Peter screen 3. The Bible told us how we would know today's the last days, man. When you have wicked, evil, old niggas coming before the young men of the Most High God, cursing us out, you don't even know us, man. We come out because we love you, you know what I mean, man? We that, I do know you. You're the children of Israel, man. And you got to keep the commandments of God. Read the book of St. Peter, chapter 3, verse 3. Read. Knowing this verse. Knowing what? Knowing this verse. Knowing this verse what? That there shall come in the last day. In the last what? In the last day. This is how we're going to know when the last days. Read. Scarfers. What? Scarfers. Eating more public songs on self and public is not why we in the hood, man. We in this condition because we broke God's commandments, man. We tried church. We tried religion. We tried selling drugs. We tried doing scamming. We didn't try coming back to the words of the most high, man. Matthew 4 4. You can drop that. Give me Matthew 4 4. Try one. What about what I do? Well, go ahead, well, now you're you want my attention, like I'm your girlfriend, now you got my attention. You a bitch nigga. What do you want, man? You a bitch nigga. So you wanted to, you want to get my attention, just you a bitch nigga, man. nigga, man. You wanted to get my attention. Don't you bring your that. fuck ass in time. You said educated, Andrew. You said educated. Bring that out, man. Oh, fuck nigga. Cause the thing about it, we love you too, brother. You a fuck nigga. I can't be, I'm gonna pray for you tonight, really. Cause you ain't, 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 Listen, a lot, a lot of our mothers don't even know how to cook a bottle of water, but you still alive today. You still 
still in this condition. Some of y'all got extra money on EBT like a stimulus money. We still in this condition, man. That should let us know. That's not gonna change nothing. So right now, if you give us a million dollars, we're still gonna be in the hood because we're under the curses of God, man. Because we don't know who we are. Give me something like 40, 40 and 30 now. Give me something like 40 and 30. Man, this elder come out and talk about, y'all not doing nothing for the people. Give us lamb. Give us chicken. Give us pie pie sandwich. Give us, come on, what is that gonna do for us? The reason why we're in this condition is for uh, spiritual reasons, man. Because we just obey the most high God, man. We just obey the most high God. Why are we going to be like those brothers over there? Those brothers are casting lots right now, man. They're not doing no wickedness over there, as far as I can see. Right. They're casting lots. That's what we were doing for real. Right. Now that you go over there and go roll some dice and do some bet with the brothers. That's righteousness right now. Nobody fighting. Nobody sleeping on nobody mama right now. Everybody just vibing right now. We. Come. Let me call Sarah chapter 40, verse 30. Right? Begging. What does it say? Begging. What does that got with the red shirt? Begging. A what? Begging. A what? Begging. Begging is what? It's three is what? It's three is who? It's three is sweet. Read. In the mouth of shameless. A spot of who? In the mouth of shameless. The sweet in the mouth of the shameless. You should be asking us, what can I do to get out of this situation, man? That's what we need to know. How to get out of the situation that we're in. How come the white people up the block is living in, what, 15 bedroom houses? And we and we barely got a kitchen or our house. We're paying two stacks for the house. That's the question we should be asking while we're going through this. Not who could have bring, who's gonna bring us some land? Why don't you go ask the white man to bring you some land? Right. You're acting just like him. Why don't you go ask him for some land? We can, but then his belly, right? They shall burn a fire. Burn a what? A fire. Burn a wolf? A fire. Your brother, if you want to talk to us, why don't you come over here? Right? Come over here. You ain't told us the song last week, right? We just said that last week. We came back. We had joy. We came back. This week. What's up, Isaiah? What's up? Where y'all? Come over here and come talk to us then. Come over here and come talk to us. Come over here and talk to us. I can't hear you. If this is your hearing, this is our last week. You shouldn't be scared to come talk to us. This is our last week, right? This is our last week, right? Come talk to us. After this week, we banned from here, right? That's what you said. What Bible y'all read? The King, King James Version Bible. What Bible? The King James Version Bible. Can we find the scripture? Huh? Can we find the scripture? Then the King James Version Bible is in the Bible. In the Bible. Tell us. Tell us where to find it. Tell you where to find it? I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now. Give me Isaiah 41, 21. The book of Isaiah chapter 41, 21, man. Isaiah 41, 21. Now all you gotta do is come over here, man. Slip and slide R. Kelly in the name of love over here, man. Read that. The book of Isaiah 41, verse 21. Read. Produce your card. What do we gotta do? Produce your card. What do we gotta do? Produce your card. Produce your card. I ain't humble now. I'm starting to get on him. Everybody keep laughing. I ain't humble. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Like, give me two minutes of your time. Two minutes of your time, brother. When you come back, give me two minutes. What's going on? Give me a minute, Edward. Come on. You can come on. Right now. You say I'm not speaking Hebrew? Hell no. All that chant shit, that wasn't Hebrew. What's the Hebrew then? You tell me. You supposed to know. You tell me, but I tell you, but you tell me. Yeah, you supposed to know. Hey, read the scripture again, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not getting away with that. Read that, bring it out. Book of Isaiah 41, verse 21. Read. Produce your cards. What the Bible say? Produce your cards. We don't know the Hebrew. Now the burden of truth on you to teach us. What's the real Hebrew? Get your chain game punk ass back in the jungle. Why, why don't you come make us? No, go back to your boyfriend. Why don't you come make us? Take that shit and wipe That's it That's what I'm talking about. Our people not about that. Don't save man. us, nigga. Save yourself. Our people, our people not about that. Man. Right. We all right. 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 you, man. Right. You decide that 23. You're not going to be Y'all nigga police. Y'all nigga police. I didn't see you to the police car and do that. Because you know you want to slam through to make your head roll back on the pavement. If you if you did that. I don't understand that, brother. We love you. But you didn't say that to the police? Right. Sorry, 23 and 7. Let's get some wisdom on this. Come. You, you're talking to us. You don't know who we are. We're the messengers of the Most High. What's going on, Elder? What's going on, Elder? Mr. Wild Wild West. What's going on, Elder? Read that. Come. Let me go. Ecclesiastes chapter 23, verse 7. Read. Hear, O children. Hear, O what? Hear, O children. Because we're the children of Israel. Read. The discipline of the mouth. A lot of our people need to learn how to discipline their mouth. There's a time and place for things, man. The brother ain't sin, but there's a time and place when you got to talk like that, man. Right now, we are here for, in the Lord's business right now, telling you what's going to happen to this neighborhood. In the future, it will be done in thermonuclear fire. That's what's coming here. 
And we're trying to warn you before that fire comes. A lot of you don't know, uh, the fuck all white man going to send y'all over there to go fight Russia. Right. And y'all going to go to get a Hellcat and Don Julio. We're trying to save you before you go over there like a fool. Read. Come. He that keep it in. Right? He that keep it in shall never be. what? He that keep it in. Read. Shall never be taken in his lips. See, you won't be taken in your lips. You know what the scriptures say? If you don't want to control your mouth, what happens? You know what the scriptures say about that? Elder, do you know what the scriptures say if you don't know how to control your mouth? What God said? Let's get to Proverbs 8, 18 to 6. He said, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. You say Yahweh Ben Yahweh is a dead man. Right. He's a dead man. The scriptures say a living dog is better than a dead lion. Read that. He's he not, he not my cousin. Proverbs 18 to 6. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is a dead man like Haiti Selassia. Ain't no difference. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that's the third time, I think the third or fourth time, right? Let's bring this out real quick. Come, the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6. Listen, I think you might have to change your uniform when you come out here. Maybe I, that's probably why I don't remember this. Every time I see a man, I know that's the sister. I text you, look. I know, he told me. He got back to you, yeah, I know. Read that. Come, a fool's lip. A what? A fool's lip. Who? A fool's lip. A what? A fool's lip. A fool's lip is what? Enter into contention. Enter into what? Contention. And it's a lot of times in the hood, what happens when somebody keeps running their mouth? You get you get split. That's what the scripture that goes back to the Bible. And even the scriptures tell us that. You keep running your mouth, you get split. That's the that's Bible. That's a biblical. They did not even know in the sun because we're the people of the book. If Solomon was alive today, he'd be so called black American. Solomon wrote that. How do you know God? I'm asking you a question. I'm not your woman. You gay? You gay? Why you don't be a woman? You you say you know. What's the name of God? Come on here, I tell you. Come on here, I have to talk to you. You're not scared, right? Come over here. You're not scared, right? Are you closer to God than me? I am. You're alive. First John two and three. I'll show you how I am. First John two and three. I think give me Proverbs side, me twelve twenty six. Excellent. Yeah. I'm going to show you how we know the Most High God better than you. But the thing about it, I'm not a Christian. I'm going to teach you how to get to the same relationship we have with the Most High too. Because we want you to have the same relationship. Bring that out, man. The book of 1 John, verse John chapter 2, verse 3. So the brother asked the question, what's going on, brother? Give us one minute, man. I see you vibing a little bit. You were chuckling up a little bit. When you get a chance, come give us a second, man. We here for you. Oh, uh, man, he about to lose his money anyway. Why are you going over here, man? Now read. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. Three. And hereby, right, we do know that we know him. Read it again, read it again. Because the elders say he know the most high God. And, right? But he told us that this week is our last week on this block, but he won't come talk to us across the block. Man, read, man. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. Listen, if we brainwash you, niggas, don't you know when you wash, you get clean? When you dirty, you filthy. We try to clean you up. So of course we need to get brainwashed. I don't know anybody who don't want to be clean. Read. The book of 1 John chapter 2 verse 3. Read. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how you know you know the help the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Bible. Read. If we keep his command. If we do what? If we keep his command. How do you show you know the God? If we keep his command. If you're not keeping the commandments, you don't know the most high God. You don't got your fringes. You are in your mouth as if you, you think you're Kevin Hart. That's, un, that's unbiblical, man. So you don't know the most high. Read. 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 He that say you I know, know it. Read. And keep it not his commandments. If you say you know the most high God, but you don't keep the commandments, read. He is a liar. He is a what? He is a liar. He is a who? He is a liar. That brother in the red with the old red hat from the fifth store, he's lying, man. <laughs> that brother is lying. And the thing about it, we won't be here next week too, and a week after that, and a week after that. To tell y'all the truth, man. Till y'all wake up, we don't keep coming out here, man. Because a lot of us, we lost hope. A lot of us, we think, we got believe what the white man taught y'all, man. You think just because you're not serving a white God in a picture, you're not serving a white man. When you have your pants below your behind, you're serving a white man. Right. When you're smoking weed, you're serving a white man. When you're shaving off your beard, you're serving a white man. When you're breaking the Sabbath day, you're serving a white man. When you're killing your own people, you're serving a white man. Right. You're serving a white man. He's the one that taught you that. Right. The Heavenly Father didn't teach you that. Read. Con. And the truth is the what? And the truth. And the truth is what? It's not in him. The truth is not in you. If you're not keeping the commandments, man, the truth is not in you. And you're a liar. Are you gonna come over here or not, man? Are you gonna keep talking over there? You wanna come over, man? Listen, are you gonna come over here or are you gonna keep talking over there? 
This is not my world. We're not going to take your shirt off your back. You have my word. I don't want your bite. You just want to come over and talk to us. You know what he said? The biggest turn of things. You know what he said? Now I see when I was growing up, why people used to say he'd be like boogers in the hood. Now I see why they used to say that. Leviticus 20 and 13. Man, Leviticus 20 and 13, man. This is why people got to learn the ways of the most high God. A man should not be, uh, uh, how, how you say this? Treating another man as if he a lollipop, man. That's against God, man. That's an abomination. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. Read. If a man, if a what? If a man, if a man read, also lie it. If you lie with man, can't talk about you telling another grown man to suck your penis, man. It's either you gay or you don't know how to talk to women. It's either one or the other. Read. As he lieth, as he lieth, what? As he lieth, as he lieth, read. With a woman, as he lieth with a woman, read. Both of them, both of what? Both of them, both of them, read. Have committed abomination. He did something evil in the eyes of God, man. I know it sounds harsh, but he was telling you the truth because the Bible tells you give sharp, give you sharp rebuke, man. Give me Titus 2, 1 and 13. What's going on, brother? Let me ask you a question. Do you love God? Do you love God? I love Yahshua. How do you show Yahshua you love him? Love works in me. What, what type of work? Let me give you an example. The reason why I'm saying that, I don't want you to think I'm trying to trip you up. If I go over there and shoot all those guys over there in my works, am I showing Yeshua love? So how do I show him love? Let me show you. Let me show you before you read. Let me show you. Hold that. John 14, 15. I'm going to show you what Yahweh Shai said. The only way to love the Most High God and love Yahweh Shai is one way. It's to keep the commandments of the Most High God. That's the only way. Right. That brother's talking about he know the Most High, but he's telling another grown man to suck his penis. Right. You guys, should, you guys are supposed to kick him out of the hood, man. The gay people are not supposed to be in the hood. Read that, man. Come. The book of, bring that out, man. St. John chapter 14, verse 15. Boom. If he loved me, what did Yahweh Shai say? If he loved me, what did he say? If he loved me, he said, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. What do you got to do? Keep my commandments. You got to keep the commandments, Elder. Where are you at in this chart right here? Where are you at in this chart? You can come closer. We're not going to take your hat, Elder. We're here for you. We're not here against you. I'm asking you. Point yourself out. We're back from on this chart. I, uh, I ain't got my glasses. That's why we told you you can come closer. Yeah, I got my glasses. You can come closer, Elder. You good, man. It's all good with us, man. Come closer, man. We are for you. I know it sounds like we're speaking rough, but guess what? Yahweh Shai spoke rough. Guess what? The Heavenly Father speaks rough. He told us, any nigga who's not down to keep the commandments, you're going to have to die in the last days. Where you that from?